So, the inevitable has finally happened. After years of Red Bull making their mark on professional football with teams in Europe, Africa, North and South America, Monster Energy have made their first purchase in what could be a global expansion into the world of professional football. They have come on board with a South American club. They have cleared the debts. They have invested in the youth setup, making them one of the best producers of youth footballers in South America. Welcome to Brazil. Welcome to Munster Sport de Recife. Welcome to Munster Sport de Recife. Max out youth facilities, max out junior coaching and youth recruitment. As I said, the uh, Monster Energy Group have invested heavily in the youth recruitment at this club. Slight reputation boost as well due to the Monster Energy team taking over at the club. Finances are as follows. We've got £962,000 in the bank. We've got a little bit of weight which spend no transfer budget. If we go to the club vision, uh, develop players using the club's youth system is required. So is signing players under the age of 21 for the first team also required. And preferred is to sign players from the lower levels of the domestic game. With that, we have got some absolutely fantastic young players in the under 20s. Um, actually, I think some of them are still in the youth candidate screen. A lot of potential in some of these players. Uh, Felipe is a central defender. Some decent numbers on him there. Five foot ten. Hopefully he can grow into that a little bit. Paolo Roberto is another one. Again, decent physicals. Four seventeen. Clayton. Good mentors. He's tackling his techniques pretty good. Defensive midfielder as well. Balance and jump and reach are good as well. Uh, David Leonardo. Some decent numbers again on him. Again, another uh, potential five-star player. Uh, Oliver Gomez is a striker. 15 finishing as well at 16. That could be telling. 15 pace, 16, uh, 15 finishing, 13 acceleration. I mean, not a very big player, but he could be an absolute superstar for this side. Uh, going down, uh, Kira Stanley is a striker as well. He's got nine finishing. Again, good physicals for a 16-year-old. Some of these players should really grow into this side. And then Harrison, who is a ball-winning centre midfielder, can also play attacking midfield. Decent natural fitness, decent pace, decent stamina. Again, at 16, there's a lot of room to grow in that. If we just look quickly at the squad, we go by star rating. Our best player is loan signing Lucas Hernandez. He's a left-back, 28-year-old Uruguayan. A lot of yellows there, very consistent across the board. Three-and-a-half star player. Our best player there is as is Ray uh, Vanegas, who is an attacking left midfielder. Can also play on the right. Again, a lot of yellows. Jumping reach is pretty poor, but he's five foot nine. Decent pace, decent, decent stamina, decent strength, good acceleration. He's 27, so there's a lot like, we can improve on with the youth side because I think some of these youth players are going to be better than this I think there's going to be a lot more greens in some of these youth players uh, going down we've got uh, Rodrigo who is a striker 14 finishing very good strength strong striker decent numbers on his uh, on his phys uh, physicals I'm not sure where we compare in terms of uh, the rest of the league so if you just look at our goalkeepers we're above average there below average, below average, above average, so a little bit hit and miss there if we look at the goalkeeper's defence, pretty average, I mean our pace in our defence is pretty poor, midfield, again, just below average for the most part, and then attack below average for the most part, we are expected to finish in, what up if I could find it, no, that's the state championship, so in the Serie A, we're expected to finish in 12th, we're 50 to 1, so, mid-table first season round, obviously we've got the uh, Pernambuco State Championship, which is, I believe it's nine games. Yeah, I think we just play them once. Nine game. Looking through this, the only real challenge that we've got in this would be probably Nautico, who are a derby game as well. They're in the second division. Apart from that, there's no real teams there. Everyone's third division or lower. So it's a weird sort of friendly competition, probably a lot of rotation in that. If you look at our schedule, we do obviously play all those games first before getting to the league season at the end of 
April the the state championships just looking at the rules so there's a relegation stage for the bottom four teams uh, top two go through to the playoff semi-finals the four below that play in the playoff quarterfinals so you get playoff quarterfinals then into the semi-finals and then into the final which looks like it's a two-legged affair as well so depending on how we do on that I'm not sure how much that I'm going to show you. I'll probably, probably come back for the first game against Afagados. Afer, I'm going to butcher a lot of these names, especially early on. Uh, we'll come back for the Nautico game as well, because that being the Derby game. Uh, and then apart from that, we may come back for the playoffs, semi-final and final, because I'd, I'd expect us to reach it. I've got to be honest. Might be a good opportunity to play some of these youth players and see how good they really are. Uh, after that, we'll obviously come back for the Baja game and the Atletico Mineiro game as we get into the league season. Definitely going to come back for the Red Bull uh, Bragantino game because that is somewhat of a little bit of a derby game now. Munster versus Red Bull. In terms of other derbies that we have at the club, we've got the game against SDA and the game against uh, America. So probably come back against some of these Flamengo and Palmeiras, also a derby games as well. So if you see the kits down here, that is thanks to Kit Basha. Lovely kits that you can make on there. I've got to be honest, absolutely fantastic app for this game. Badge is also created by myself. I know it's very basic, very simple. First foray into trying to build a badge. So, you know, it is what it is. Take it or leave it. I'm quite happy with myself with that, if I'm completely honest. Anyway, enough talking for today's episode. As I say, we'll be back for the first game of the season in that state game at home against Afagodas. Afagodas? Afagadas. Ah, we'll work on it. I'm going to uh, YouTube my Brazilian slash Portuguese pronunciations over the coming uh, over the coming days and weeks. Anyway, that is episode one. If you like the idea of this monster save, if you like the idea of us being in Brazil, in South America, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time for the first games of the save. It will be the state games on the 9th of January. Also, before we go, it's so weird that we play the state games on the 9th of January. We play the last league game on the 4th of December. They have less than, a, but just over a month off. And then again, they'll come back for the next state games. Such an absolute bizarre thing, I've got to be honest. I've also got to throw in the uh, the cup as well, the Brazilian cup. That will start at some point or another. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the first games of the season.